Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a disk partitions in Hyper-V uh, VMs. So right now I'm running a Windows uh, 2012 um, R2 and I have three partitions, three drives, C, D, and E. And the, um, the DVD-ROM drive is an O. So I needed more space um, for my computer here, and I'm going to add an F drive with with 20 gigabyte. So what I need to do is I'm going to have to go to my Hyper-V host, which is this one. Here's my Hyper-V host. Here's all my VMs. And the servers that I want to shut down and add a drive is the SCCM server. I'm going to turn it off. So what I need to do next is highlight it and then go to settings. So as you can see here, SCSI controller I have I have one, I have two, and I have three. There's a C drive, there's a D drive, and there's an E drive. So I'm going to click on Add Hardware, SCSI Controller, Hard Drive. I'm going to click on Virtual Hard Disk, New. Click Next. It's going to be a fixed size. Fix size, or you can do a dynamic expandable. I'm going to do a fix size faster. I'm going to put in my D drive of the Hyper-V host, SCCM. Hmm, I forget which one is my, um, let's go back here. Sorry, hard disk. So it's in Hyper-V semi-SCCM. Semi so let's start again. Click on Add New Hardware. Oops, it's already open. Yep, it's already open. So let's go into New. Click on Fix. I'm going to put this in the D drive for the host. I'm going to call this E drive. I'm sorry, F drive. Select. Click Next. So here's, you want to give it whatever you want to give. I'm going to give it 20 gigs. Actually, I'm going to give it 10 gigs. And then click next, click on finish. Now it's going to create a disk. Click on OK. Now let's power it up.
All right, it's coming up. Uh, okay, let's log in. I'm going to RDP in. So once you created the partitions, the next thing you need to do is activate it and format the disk. That's the next step. And if I go into the uh, the Explorer, Windows Explorer, I don't see the F drive yet. So what I need to do is right click on the Windows uh, Windows button. Oops. And then go to Disk Manager. I'm going to expand this a little bit. So as you can see, this disk and the third one here, the 10 gigs, the one I just created. What you need to do is click on it and then right click. Click change it to online. Because it's not initialized yet, you have to um, initialize it first. I'm going to initialize the disk. Click OK. So now it's active and it is online. What I need to do is I'm going to create a create a volume by right click on the disk, go to new volume, click next. I'm going to use the max next. I'm going to assign it to an F drive. I'm going to call this download. I'm going to use this drive for downloading contents. Quick format. File system is NTFS. Yeah. Um, allocation unit size. It's default. Click next and finish. So now it shows it's an F drive. Let's go back to the Explorer. Here it is. Let's create a folder. Voila. That's it. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.